Hey, housemates, want to play a giant retro war game from the 90s that includes a complimentary shower curtain? Want to play Battle Masters? The best thing about HeroQuest is this guy's video. HeroQuest is the best game ever made, and anyone who says otherwise is wrong. The best thing about HeroQuest is the miniatures. The best thing about HeroQuest is the gargoyle. The best thing about HeroQuest is the best thing about HeroQuest. The best thing about HeroQuest. The best thing about HeroQuest. The best thing about HeroQuest is this tiny furniture. The cards. The board. The quest book. The box art. The inside of the box. This cracking screen. The broad sold. Rolling to move. Ignoring the roll to move rule. Is the combat dice. Is the barbarian. The dwarf. The expansions! That's the Bard of Bardic Broadcasts, a video from several years ago. Awesome dude and terrific video. And he's right about all that. HeroQuest is super awesome. It was originally published by Milton Bradley in 89 and republished by current owners Hasbro in 22. Importantly, HeroQuest is not HeroScape. HeroQuest was such a raging success that Milton Bradley looked to capitalize any way they could. Enter Games Workshop. Games Workshop is probably best known for publishing Warhammer 40k, a miniatures war game with detailed rules and complex scenarios. It's a really cool game, but we don't play it. We're just not wealthy enough. Anyway, Games Workshop entered an agreement with Milton Bradley to publish Advanced Hero Quest and Battlemasters. Battlemasters, from the makers of Hero Quest, says the box was designed by Stephen Baker, who would, a decade later, design the seeming intersection of these things, HeroScape. HeroScape is not HeroQuest. The best thing about Battlemasters is the scale. Battlemasters is scaled pretty much exactly the same height as HeroQuest, except you command whole platoons at once. Here's a comparison of an ogre from HeroQuest and the ogre champion from Battlemasters. Similar scale, anyway. The best thing about Battlemasters is... Okay, I'll stop. The giant battle mat. And whoa, mama, this thing is huge. And polyvinyl, and... Yeah, you know, maybe it's just me, but I think it's a great shower curtain. Soon may the women come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Anyway, we will stage our armies across the battlefield from each other, and like a much cooler chess game, attack! A dog. The Grand Imperial Army are fighting to keep the forces of chaos at bay. The Emperor has sent his greatest knights, archers, and men-at-arms against goblins, orcs, ogres, wolves, and chaos warriors. I've always loved the special rules for the Imperial Cannon and the Mighty Ogre Champion. I feel like more units should have these kind of special rules for actions. So, the ogre has his own set of cards to determine in what order he moves and crushes skulls. When firing the cannon, we place these tiles randomly face down on the battlefield, then turn them up to see if we destroy our target, get some collateral damage along the way, or maybe the thing explodes on our face. Actually, pretty exciting. And similar to HeroQuest, the miniatures are terrific for honing one's skill at painting whole armies at a time. You know, I was thinking there were terrain rules or something, but I guess I made some house rules saying units can move one extra space along the roads. Really, once you start thinking about house rules, there is no limit to what you might come up with. This whole game has exactly the right amount of detail in the pieces. It compels the imagination. Maybe we can heal one wound at a spot in the river. Maybe we can roll an extra defense die for standing on rocky terrain. Maybe one set of units can, I don't know, summon giant eagles to carry them across the board. And we can do like I did as a youth and bash hero quest and battle masters together. Our bold heroes can cross the terrain of battle, assaulting whatever troops we can on the field of glory. Maybe covertly, maybe commanding an army. Then once we make it inside the tower, we crawl through dungeons and deal with whatever lies in wait. House rules rule! The booklet includes a few scenarios detailing each side's win condition, or we can just 
attack each other to attrition. War is heck, man. We will fight until some predetermined condition, and then the game ends. The winner is awarded this kind of primer. Oh, right, so we can so we can paint our minis. Right, cool. <laughs> Housemates, I'll see you at the game table! <laughs>